The beautiful hair today is a sort of soft, sort of wispy French twist, um, very small, with a dramatic black band in front. And I'm just back brushing it a little bit here to get some texture. And then I'm going to twist it at the back so that it's kind of, so it looks like they did it themselves. But it's a small silhouette, it's not a, a big shape. It's, it's just a lovely, light, poetic texture. Classic volume hairspray. Voila. Yeah, and uh, we had a little mousse in to start with before you came along. So we did a little volume, Pantene volume mousse in there, blow dried it in, and then the hairspray to finish it off. The look is boyish beauty. The inspiration behind the collection was um, electric folk. So we have gone for a really nude, natural face giving the emphasis just on the lips with a really saturated, almost neon pink lipstick in a matte texture. And that goes against a dewy base and a glossy eye. There's lots of men's knits and, and um, jumpers in the collection, so we're quite, that's where the boyish theme is coming from. The starting point was a vintage folk waistcoat, which we photographed and made and turned into an incredible print, which we called Electric Folk. It's the print at the beginning of the show, which has got lots of bright blue in it. And then we decided that we would do like embroidered, a really... Embroidered plush ones. They're embroidered onto pleather, and they're inspired by the print as well. So that's our folky bit out the way. That's, <laughs> that's the folky bit. It has an incredible embroidery work in it. The idea of doing it digitally, so do we have a trompe l'oeil embroidery, it, it made it to us you know, incredibly modern. And we used a postmodern background to it as well to mix it up. And then we started pulling 80s elements, and then we started bringing the leggings, the shocking pink, and we started making it oh, really, but, really but. electric. No, because we'd been, we, we, we started our menswear, so we'd done lots and lots of graphic men's knits. And then we did the women's in the same vein, so they were like very geometric and graphic. So that made the whole collection much more poppier and kind of made a contrast to the folk, really. That's, how it, that's the main reason why we have like two contrasting elements and like the pleather kind of blended it all together. Well, the knitwear for us was really, really important. We found an incredible partner in Scotland, so we finally could take our knitwear range all the way. So we put some menswear pieces in the mix as well and created sweaters which were slightly oversized, so they have that masculine feel, which was reflected in the slouchy trousers as well. Really nice show, beautiful collection, and the outfit is also really cool. I'm wearing a um, long silver dress with a black leggings, cool and feminine at the same time.
We had a muse, a very clear muse, and I think the styling just stressed that. We had that belt from the beginning of the collection as well, the idea of that belt, you know, just tying everything around, and also the pumps. And then in the last minute, you know, Suzanne had the idea of the black headband. I always love headbands. Yeah, and then yeah. that created a sort of frame, a hard frame, for all the mix and mix and match of prints and colors and materials that we do. Everything has always been a bit mix and match with us right from the beginning, hasn't it? So we just bring different things and just keep layering it on. So that's a bit how we are with everything, really. It's not something we would recommend to anybody, but in our case, you know, we started together. It was not planned. Someone was interviewing us and they asked, when did you do your first dress together? And I was like, we well, when we started yeah. Clemens Ribeiro, well, and well, not, not before. before. <laughs> anyway, you, if you interviewed us separate, we'd give you totally different answers. So we're, not, we're kind of in unison because we're standing here, but separate we have like, you know, different things and somehow they gel just about.